Corbel is actually really easy to set up. By default, all of your MIDI controllers are already connected. But if, for instance, you have multiple controllers and there are some you don't want to run through Cordable, you can do that by clicking on the settings button here and unchecking the box. You can also change the MIDI output channel here. And if you encounter any hanging notes, you can quickly send note offs for the entire keyboard by pressing this button. All right, using Cordable with Ableton is really simple. Uh, you don't have to create any additional tracks or do any kind of complex MIDI routing uh, like with some other plugins. So what you're going to do is just go over to your session, go to a MIDI track, and under your MIDI inputs, just select Cordable, and you're done. All right, once you have your DAW connected, you can try out different presets by clicking on these arrows here. You can also click on the preset bar to open up this menu, which shows you all the different presets available. When you press a key, you'll see this note in the bottom left-hand corner change. That shows you which note you're currently mapping. So now in this left panel are settings that are specific to the chord associated with all of the C notes on the keyboard. I can change the type of chord the complexity. I can also change the voicing, which controls what the lowest note is in the chord. These are also known as inversions. If I set it to smart voicing, it will choose inversions based on the last chord played. On the right hand side, you have the global settings, which affect all chords on the keyboard. Spread controls how far across the keyboard the chords will span. Humanize randomizes the timing and velocity of the notes, and Strum staggers the notes instead of playing them all at the same time. You can also access Cordable from this drop down menu, which lets you edit settings on the fly without obscuring your DAW window. If you want more in-depth info on the controls, you can click this Docs button here. And if you want to make feature requests or report any bugs, click the Feedback button here. All right, hope you have fun with Quartable. Thanks.